pomegranate. The only legend I have ever loved is the story of a daughter lost in hell and found and rescued there. Love and blackmail are the gist of it. Ceres and Persephone the names. And the best thing about the legend is I can enter it anywhere and have. As a child in exile in a city of fogs and strange consonants, I read it first. And at first, I was an exiled child in the crackling dusk of the underworld. The stars blighted. Later, I walked out in a summer twilight, searching for my daughter at bedtime. When she came running, I was ready to make any bargain to keep her. I carried her back past white beams and wasps and honey-scented buddleias. But I was serious then, and I knew winter was in store for every leaf on every tree on that road, was inescapable for each one we passed and for me. It is winter and the stars are hidden. I climb the stairs and stand where I can see my child asleep beside her teen magazines, her can of Coke, her plate of uncut fruit. Pomegranate, how did I forget it? She could have come home and been safe and ended the story and all our heartbroken searching. But she reached out a hand and plucked a pomegranate. She put out her hand and pulled down the French sound of apple and the noise of stone and the proof that even in the place of death, at the heart of legend, in the midst of rocks full of unshed tears, ready to be diamonds, by the time the story was told, a child can be hungry. I could warn her, there is still a chance the rain is cold, the road is flint-colored, the suburb has cars and cable television, the veiled stars are above ground. It is another world, but what else can a mother give her daughter but such beautiful rifts in time? If I defer the grief, I will diminish the gift. The legend must be hers as well as mine. She will enter it as I have. She will wake up. She will hold the papery, flushed skin in her hand and to her lips. I will say nothing.